Hi everyone, and uh, welcome you all to our interview series with AWS. And here we are going to talk about a new topic, which is Amazon Athena. Amazon Athena is basically a serverless computing which have interactive session for the query writing. Okay, so you can basically write the queries using Amazon Athena, and uh, Amazon Athena is very basically like an interactive query service that makes it a very simpler our work to analyze the data which is available in S3 bucket using the standard SQL queries only. And that is serverless, you do not need to manage or patch anything, and uh, infra will be fully managed by AWS, and you just need to pay for the running the queries. Okay, now another thing is Athena is very simple to use and learn. So new developers or new software engineer will be familiar with it in a very short span of time. Okay, now you need to just define the schema. You need to point the data available in the S3 bucket and you can start querying the data using a standard SQL. So anybody who is familiar with SQL skills who can write the SQL queries will be able to quickly manage the large scale data set in the Athena. Okay, and Athena supports uh, like a large amount of data, so you do not need to write any complex ETL jobs to prepare your data for any data analysis. Okay, so that's the whole thing about uh, Amazon Athena. Now let's come to the next question. So we have is, what are the data formats supported by Amazon Athena? So basically Amazon Athena supports various data formats like CSV, TSV, JSON, text file. So these are the common files uh, we need to use while data engineering or anything while working on AWS. Like JSON file is so many times you will use whether in IAM or in CSV, like a S3 form uh, bucket or any other location, okay? so. Then columnar formats are like where we read the files or write the files. So Apache ORC and Apache Parquet both are supported by Athena, which is very advantage of it. And it also support compressed data formats like Snappy, Jlib, uh, El Shadow, and Gzip. Okay. Now next question is what are limitation or drawbacks of Athena? So basically it's related with S3 bucket, like S3 bucket is uh, limited with 100 buckets per account by default, but you can request with AWS support team and they will increase it for you for 1000 S3 bucket per account as per your requirement. Now come to the Athena, then Athena restrict uh, each account to 10 key databases and databases cannot include over 200 key tables. Earlier it was very low, but now they have increased it. Okay, again, a third is point is like Amazon Athena is built on the uh, old version of PrestoDB. So PrestoDB is a like open source tool. Uh, like they also have uh, released like uh, almost uh, 40 something new releases has been come, but uh, Athena is built on the old version of it. Okay, now PrestoDB, uh, they have built their own cloud also, which is known as Ahan Native Cloud. Okay, they are also, you can use the PrestoDB. So and, uh, Amazon Athena is like, uh, using the older version. So th these are the limitations we have covered for Amazon Athena. Now move to the different question. So how can we perform ETL on Athena using federated query? So here's the like point is what is federated query? So federated query can join tables together from different systems, okay? And it can access the data anytime, anywhere, from anywhere, okay? Now, how the federated query works. So it's worked with various AWS services like S3 and uh, you can use like uh, uh, Redshift also. So with the help of Athena federated query, customer can submit a single query in SQL and analyze the data from multiple sources running on uh, on-premises or hosted on any other cloud or AWS and Athena executes federated query using data source connectors that run on AWS Lambda. So basically, yeah, Athena supports federated query easily and Athena stores the query result in S3 bucket. So this means Athena can be used to make federated data accessible to other users and applications, okay? Now in Athena, we have two functions. First is create table as function. Then we have Athena's unload function. So with the help of create table as function, we can perform analysis on data without having to query the underlying source frequently. And also we can use unload function and save the result in a specific file format on the Amazon S3 bucket, okay? Now let's move to a different question. We How have... to use Athena with AWS Glue? So that's a very important question. Many interviewers will ask you like, uh, can you tell the compatibility of uh, AWS Glue with Athena? And you can see like, we can use Athena with AWS Glue data catalog to create databases and table schema, which can be queried in Athena again. Like you can query, you can write a SQL query in Athena to get the DDLs uh, like uh, from uh, 
the database uh, bases or schema available in the data catalog. Now you can also use Athena to create schema and then use those schema in AWS Glue and related AWS services. So this way you can utilize and like AWS Glue support out of box to the Athena, okay? And th these are the very important questions that we have covered till now. If you need more Amazon Athena interview questions, then comment below and subscribe our channel. And thanks for watching us.